no one believed that Ukraine would be able to withstand the attacks of the far superior Russian army for more than three months, but the Ukrainian armed forces are still fighting, and the Russians are failing to make deeper incursions. Ukrainian armed forces kept the spearhead of Russian forces engaged in the eastern city of Severodonetsk while launching successful counterattacks in the north and south during the 15th week of the war. The southern counteroffensive began on May 28. And by June 2, Kherson Oblast military administration head Hennady Lehuda reported that Ukrainian forces had liberated 20 villages. In some areas, Ukrainian forces had managed to push the Russian lines of defense back about 25 kilometers, 15 miles. For example, whereas the Russians were almost on the outskirts of Mykolaiv, they are now reportedly halfway between Mykolaiv and the city of Kherson. Increased Russian attacks have failed to win these areas back. Ukraine's navy also said on Facebook that its use of anti-ship missiles has forced Russian ships to a distance of 100 kilometers, 62 miles, from land and prompted Russia to place Bal and Bastion anti-ship missile batteries on Crimea. Ukraine says it has sunk 13 Russian ships and boats of various types. We have deprived the Russian Black Sea fleet of complete control over the northwest part of the Black Sea, which has turned into the Grey Zone, the Navy announced on Facebook. Russian military sources on June 5 reported that Ukraine had launched a new counteroffensive in the northern Kharkov region. This is where Ukraine successfully pushed Russian forces back to within a few kilometers of the Russian border in May and secured the city of Kharkov. The heart of the struggle was the city of Severodonetsk, where Ukrainian and Russian forces appear to have gone back and forth. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu claimed on Telegram that his forces have captured the entire residential part of the city and continue to fight for the industrial area. Russia launched the battle for Severodonetsk on May 25. Given that the city is only about 25 streets deep from east to west, and Russia has committed the flower of its forces there 10,000 men backed by relentless artillery, mortars and air power, Ukrainian forces appear to have held out admirably. Despite Russia's tenfold superiority in artillery there, as reported by the head of Ukraine's military intelligence Kirill Butanov Russia has failed to surround Severodonetsk, take neighboring Lysychinsk or ford the Seversky Donets River, which lies between them. Ukraine has proven the more versatile and resilient combatant, says the Institute for the Study of War. The Russian military has concentrated all of its available resources on this single battle to make only modest gains. The Ukrainian military contrarily retains the flexibility and confidence to not only conduct localized counterattacks elsewhere in Ukraine, such as north of Kherson, but conduct effective counterattacks into the teeth of Russian assaults in Severodonetsk, it said in its June 4 assessment. Severodonetsk has symbolic, not strategic, value say analysts, as its occupation would allow Russia to claim it has taken Ukraine's easternmost Luhinsk province. Russia's drive in Luhansk is the desperate gamble of a dictator staking the last of the offensive combat power he can scrape together in hopes of breaking his enemy's will to continue the fight, wrote Frederick W. Kagan, senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute think tank, referring to Russia's President Vladimir Putin. And let him claim that he's taken all of Luhansk oblast. There are no Russian large reserves coming behind this force to carry its successes forward. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.